The Toyota Land Cruiser and Land Rover Discovery have been off-road rivals through decades of war zones, outbacks and jungles. Now there's two fresh versions available, so we're here to decide which one you'd rather spend your own money on. This Land Cruiser is top spec, the LC5, and it costs £47,000. And this flagship spec Discovery HSE is 53,000 quid. First up, a dirty 4x4 game of tug of war to test torque, grip and general hardness. I'm going to take the Discovery because it has two more cylinders and more torque, which should mean it tugs harder than the Land Cruiser. But I'm happy taking the Toyota, if only because the United Nations wouldn't dream of crossing a battlefield in anything else. First to cross the centre line loses. Three, two, one, go! Because this has got an intelligent diff control, what that means is Land Rover will decide whether or not it thinks that it needs to lock its diffs. A lock differential is useful when conditions are slippy. It makes the wheels turn at the same speed and gives you more traction. It's telling me I've lost grip. I'm aware of that. With an extra 140 pound foot of torque and a smarter differential sending it to the wheels, the Discovery edged ahead. And now I'm just sliding sideways, which is not good. <laughs> OK, stop. I think it was a sort of success. Both of these vehicles may use a 3-litre diesel, but this test illustrates very neatly that the Discovery has more grunt, a lot more power, and the ability to tow half a tonne more than the Toyota. The second test is 4x4 Pull Rescue, where we've got to save my mate, Inflatable Brian, in the fastest time possible. Oh, face down. I'm going to use the crawl system and I'm going to put it on a medium crawl so I can take my feet off all the pedals, lean out the window and grab him and the car just crawls along. It's my cunning plan. OK, Johnny boy, I am ready. Three, two, one, off you go. Oh, that's the crawl system. Oh, she's using some, some braking technology. Oh, big, big bow way there. Over the bonnet quite significantly, and we don't have snorkels on here, so we don't want to drown the engine. Right, I don't want to go too fast because it'll go away from me. The exhaust is under the water. Keep the revs up, Vic. Come on, Brian. She's done it. I've never hooked a man in quite such a fashion. You actually saved Brian in 31.03 seconds. Excellent behaviour. That's not bad. I'm sure you've pulled blokes quicker. On your marks, get set, go! OK, I don't know how fast to actually go into the water. And he's off. Oh, sugar, that was a bit high. Quite a big bow wave as well. It's got all the way over the bonnet. I've got to make sure I get him before the bow wave does. Oh, I think he's pushing Brian too far away. No! Oh! Yes, I've got him! My bloody hero! Oh! <gasps> I cannot believe how fast you, you went. I was gunning, baby, I was gunning. 19.7 seconds. More than 10 seconds quicker. So the moral of the story is, when it comes to off-road, a gung-ho approach will often get the job done quicker than relying on fancy technology. And so to the final challenge. Each car will be timed as it takes on a suspension 